This man from U.S. Army claims 57 alien species similar to humans are walking among people. Retired Army Sergeant Clifford Stone is nearly a legend. Stone claimed to have been serving for 22 years as a decorated Vietnam combat veteran. From 1968 to 1990, he was a part of the secret elite group that was assigned to recover the crashed UFO or ET parts, alien bodies, and artifacts. Besides, he said that intelligent life had been visiting our planet in highly advanced crafts that are capable of covering many light years in less time, which is beyond modern human knowledge. He was reportedly out for a week when the Army required him for UFO retrievals. What is more, his Army service record was manipulated and excluded all his UFO recovery activities, showing him as a typist. To support his claims, Stone cleverly disclosed the existence of classified projects such as Moondust and Blue Fly that had been created to hide the UFO's debris by using Freedom of Information Acts. For example, in reviewing an Air Force intelligence letter known as the Betts Memo 1961, Sergeant Stone was able to reveal to the general public evidence that Project Moondust involved a potential for employment of qualified field intelligence personnel on a quick reaction basis to recover or perform field exploitation of unidentified flying objects. Source, Stone's catalogs and UFOs are real documents he had been able to retrieve by FOIA, even during his years of military service. Consequently, Stone's pioneering documentary research into UFO crash retrievals is strong support for his testimony of actually having served on such teams during his military service. Stone claimed in his old interviews that during his military service he was monitored by an individual whose rank he was never told, but whom he called Colonel. The Colonel was present at UFO crash retrieval locations and led debriefing sessions of Stone. He noted that the Colonel allowed him to read a three-inch thick notebook manual that contained information on 57 types of extraterrestrial biological entities, EBEs, known to the military. He said that many species looked like humans, but their eyes were slightly larger and had black iris. According to him, extraterrestrial species contacted only through telepathy and could even read minds. In 1973, Stone was involved in the retrieval of a crashed UFO. He hid a small metallic piece of UFO in his shoe and buried it near his property in New Mexico, Nevada, after his retirement in 1989. He said, Yes, I have it and wouldn't dare to keep it in the house. I had it here to show some people where I kept it. A day longer than I should have, and then somebody actually came here and tried to take it. That was some tense moments. I almost shot somebody that day. On May 9, 2001, over 20 military, intelligence, government, corporate, and scientific witnesses came forward at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C. to establish the reality of UFOs or extraterrestrial vehicles, extraterrestrial life forms, and the resulting advanced energy and propulsion technologies. As part of the Disclosure Project, Sergeant Stone publicly revealed his story and was willing to testify before Congress if they asked him. Here is the transcript of Sergeant Stone's part in the Disclosure Program. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Clifford Stone. I was a Sergeant First Class, United States Army. I had a secret clearance with nuclear surety. I could get the clearance that I needed to do whatever it was necessary for me to do at the time on special operations when I was called in on those. What I'm referring to here is that I was involved in situations where we actually did recoveries of crashed saucers. There were bodies involved with some of these crashes and also some were alive. While we were doing all this, we were telling the American public there was nothing to it. We were telling the world there was nothing to it. I'd like to go into detail on some of the cases about the nuts and bolts cases right here, but I will be available if you have any questions concerning my involvement in this. You can talk to Dr. Greer to arrange for me to get to talk to you. But the whole situation is, we have setback. We've told the American people that there's no such thing as UFOs. I've been involved where we have recovered these objects. We know them to be of extraterrestrials. In 1969, I had an event that happened to me while I was stationed at Fort Lee, Virginia. We went to Indian Town Gap, Pennsylvania. That would be my first exposure to any time that we would be recovering an unidentified flying object. When we went there, we already had people that were in the facility with a backup team, which was supposed to be NBC because there were supposed to be some nuclear materials that were on board this craft. Later on, most people involved were told that there was nothing on board. It was nothing more than to crash at one of our aircraft. I know better because I was one of the people that approached it with a Geiger counter to get surface readings. I was the first person to go ahead and see that there were bodies on it. 
That would be the first of approximately 12 events. UFO crashes are not events that take place every day. They're rare. I know we're not alone in the universe. I know that the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. It's evidence that has been denied to the American people. I stand before you today and my almighty God, and I tell you this, if the Congress calls me in and says, will you testify in detail what you know? I stand here today prepared and ready to do just that. Governments must never lie to the people for no reason. Thank you. Italo-American photojournalist and UFO researcher Paula Harris wrote in her book, Eyes Only, the story of Clifford Stone and UFO crash retrievals, about his childhood ET friend named Corona, who looked like a human and was with Stone to understand human emotions. Further, she talked about Stone's alien encounter in Vietnam, where he helped aliens to escape from military custody as he cared for the rights of extraterrestrials who visit Earth. Clifford Stone claimed that he had been good at communicating with the ETs found at the crash sites or in an encounter with his military team. Once, his team fired a bullet at an ET, but they deflected it with some advanced technology. He also mentioned the teleport techniques of ETs when he found himself hundreds of feet from his initial position. Stone also claimed that there are many alien groups that visit our solar system and Earth as well. But when humans learned how to detect their crafts, they limited their visits but did not stop. He had no intention to benefit from his claims and evidence and no desire to gain publicity. His only desire was to let the U.S. citizens know the truth about the UFOs and extraterrestrial hypothesis, ETH, that these are interplanetary spacecraft. Clifford Stone, age 72, passed away peacefully at his home on February 10, 2021.